So this is all about the test for iron three ions, so iron three plus. Uh, let's get started with the experiment and then we'll move on to the equation. So here's my solution of iron three plus. Let's see what happens with the sodium hydroxide solution. So when I add my iron three plus to sodium hydroxide, you can see that you get this red brown kind of rust colored precipitate being formed. Now, if I have my sodium hydroxide in excess, so loads of it, that means it's still insoluble in excess. It's not dissolving, it's not going anywhere. So it's a red-brown precipitate, insoluble in excess. If I take another sample of iron three plus, let's see what that does with the ammonia solution. So when I add ammonia, you can see that hopefully you get that same red-brown precipitate. It's not forming in quite the same way as the other one, but you've still got those solid particles there. They're becoming a little bit more obvious now. They're also insoluble in excess. So hopefully you can see that you've still got that red-brown precipitate forming with the ammonia too. The equations for what's going on here are really similar to the other ones. In this scenario, the Fe3 plus is still reacting with just hydroxide ions that are present in both of these scenarios. Because remember that NH3 is really producing hydroxide ions when it's dissolved in water. So when that Fe3 plus reacts with the hydroxide, it makes this solid red-brown precipitate of iron hydroxide. And the equation balances like this. Remember, you've got your red-brown precipitate in both cases, and it is insoluble in excess. That is all for the test for iron 3 plus. Check out the other cation videos to make sure that you have got them all.